Sup, sup, sup. My name is Ray for the Year Year Council. And this is coffee time. We've been gone for about two and a half weeks with this. Now, before we go into the actual coffee time, let me talk about why we've been gone for two weeks and shall update. Comic-Con, Joey's World, that got me sick. And not like sick of, oh, I don't want to deal with this no more. No, no. I got actually physically sick and my stomach disease becomes a total nightmare with that. So I took a little time off, but now I'm catching back up on everything. So why is there an Azura Eyes when the topic is OCG versus TCG, who has a better format? We're going to go into that in a second. I hear your cries. I know you want more Blue Eyes content. What I'm doing with the council is simple. Instead of catering just to every, like anyone, I'm catering to everyone. So it's going to be a mix-up of stuff. There's going to be tons more Blue Eyes stuff. And I don't want to say it just yet. I put, you know what, screw it. I say it on Facebook, I say it here, and the cats are going in, in the bathroom. So, I told you, we film in the kitchen, we do it legit. So, let me get into this real quick. IRL duels, that means, you know, you can physically see my hands, you can see the feel like this. We're going to be having that come to the, ch to the chat. There was a reason it was delayed, and I managed to figure everything out by accident. So there's going to be a lot of blue eyes duels and it's going to show you properly how to duel the entire thing with post commentary because everything gets loud where I go and duel. And we don't always have the most legit places to duel. So that said, that's coming. Halloween's going to be zombie blue eyes. I know a lot of you want to see that. That's going to be on Halloween because well, I want to do something for Halloween that, you know, gave into the tradition of monsters and stuff, but I didn't know what to do. I was going to do ghost tricks, but we already have ghost tricks, thank you, Miss Valley Master. We already have that, but, you know, I wanted to do something a little different. So, you know, zombie blue eyes. Now, for anyone who's asking for dark real blue eyes, it's already on the playlist. Anything that comes out, it's on the playlist. I have a bunch of tag team duels with Yugi Final Four. He's already posted a few, so make sure to go check out his channel. You can see his side of the commentary. You'll see my side very soon, probably like later today. What I'm doing is I'm trying to put out like four or six videos if YouTube allows it. The first one is the news coverage video, and yeah, I just woke up and now I just have my coffee. But that's being rendered as I make this video. And then I'll start uploading when I'm making the second half of this video, which is the actual, you know, discussion. But I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in the longest time. I haven't like had this coffee time to, to you know bring the channel update to you and talk about everything we have going on. <coughs> and there's so much that's going on. And that's pretty much why I had to take a few days off. And there's one thing I want to mention. We're gonna do for the council. November the 5th, Stardust Spark Dragon comes out. Now sometimes we can get that a little bit earlier. I'm gonna open that up and show you what it looks like, and we'll probably have a coffee time special on that. Just to make up for like the two weeks that we were off with that. I already have my like cheap sheet. November the 1st is a sneak peek for me because, well, Fridays, we do it. November the 8th is Shadow Specters, so yeah, you look forward to that. And November 22nd is the Wave 2 Tins, that's all in November. October's pretty slow month, but you guys have been great to us, so we want to be great to you. Get ready for tons of blue eye stuff, and subscriber showcase will continue. Sometime this week, I just have to like take out all the stuff and put it in. But that's it for the channel update. Sorry for eating up four minutes for those of you who want the channel update. But here we go, OCG versus TCG. Let's start now. Okay, we're gonna do the TCG and we'll do the OCG. We're not talking about ban lists. We're not like talking about future ban lists. That's gonna be a totally different video called What Can Konami Do to Fix the Ban List? It's gonna be a totally, totally different video. And that's not gonna be an opinion, that's gonna be like fact, but <clears throat> That's not what we're talking about today. Let's not concern ourselves with ban lists because we got a few weeks before we hit November and then we can start talking about January. Because that's when the next list will go into effect. Let's start with the TCG. Soul Dream was hit, so we had to go find something else. There was Vanity's Emptiness and Imperial Ironwall. If you get these two up, you pretty much have it against Dragon Ruins. So they either A, Blaster it, or B, MST it. All I have to do is hit the Imperial Wall and the Vanities is going too, so. 
they became a tier, a tier zero deck, and I'm not joking about that. We had a mid-format kind of change where it used to be Evil Storm a little bit, and then like Dragon Rulers, and then Dragoonity Dragon Rulers with Dragon Rulers, which I guess you still count as Dragon Rulers. You see the boredom, right? It's like just, you get one or two random decks, like Fire Fist popping up, or Wobbles, for some apparent reason. But the problem of it is, was the whole, you know, oh look, great format, they banned the babies, um, yeah, that didn't turn out so well. In my eyes, the deck became more powerful than it already was, which is just, oh god, I know, I feel stupid for saying that, but it's kind of true. At least they were kind of manageable before. I believe it's the whole Soul Drain hit too, that's what they did, but we're not talking about hits. Let's jump over to OCG and see the kind of reflection when it comes to that. In OCG, dragons aren't really tier zero because they lack six cents, thankfully. They do have Trishulia, I'm not gonna lie. It is a pain in the butt sometimes. They do have power cards that we don't. Pot of Avarice, Heavy Storm, I'm saying we don't. I do play OCG, but I haven't had the time to actually go over there and enjoy it like I normally do. But Heavy Storm is there. Trishulia or Shockmaster. So Shockmaster right there, I know I hate using this term too. The boys are being a little pain in the bucket. Just put out here. Little kids. Um, Shockmaster shouldn't be used as a term counter. It's just as, just as godly. But I mean seriously, it gives the deck something to say goo against, you know. We're down three level fours and do it that way. I had to excuse myself because I had some mucus coming out of my throat. Anyway. Point. Does that mean the OCG f format is better? Not really. Dragon still dominated. Evil Storms still are a part of it. We do have more mixed up. Now let's look at lower tiers, because lower tiers also show the health of a game. We have Cod Curry in the TCG. We have Blue Eyes, which Oddly enough, no one's taking to regionals, and no, I don't enter regionals because of how much I, like, you know, work and all that stuff. No offense, guys. If I had the time, I'd definitely do it. Um, it's kind of hard. I know there's those two. I count Noble Knights as, like, tier three right now, but maybe with new support. There's a, but, like, everything in my head recently, competitive-wise, is just either Blue Eyes or Dragon Movers. <laughs> Black Wings are also up there. Really, really, really up there. As long as they get the Black Werewolf. That's the main thing there, too. They're not as good in OCG, Black Wings, because they don't have nearly as much speed as the TCG. But they got more power cards. Aha! <laughs> Sound judgment! But in the, in the TCG, a lot of players have to use their head to think more about their back row and how to deal with back row. Night Beam has become a popular choice. MST is always a staple when it comes to that. I've seen some people only main one, but you know, it's, it's what else. Right now, Japan has the Stardust Spark Dragon, and pretty much that thing is ridiculous. And once Dragon Rulers get it, yes, they do use it. They will get better in TCG than they already are. In the OCG, they already have it, and Trishulia is a great counter for it. If you can get Trishulia out, that is. In both formats, Max C is a popular contender for main decks and side decks alike. Because it gives your deck the one thing that it always needs. More speed! So in the Dragon Ruler matchup, it becomes that. It becomes, I'm going to play Max C, I'm going to get my draw power, I'm going to be a do do do, I'm going to drop everything on the field pretty much. But I honestly feel, don't take this the wrong way, that as some people don't view Japan as being that competitive because we're a little more relaxed than the TCG, the TCG is more of a hardcore mindset, more of a professional level as where the you know, OCG is really not that, you know, point. The job, the, the whole job thing is wholly different out there anyway. But we're talking about different countries here. But we can't leave out one country, which I feel always gets screwed over, is Europe. Unfortunately, they won't see Stardust Spark Dragon. At least I don't think. I'm not sure. Someone can, someone, someone in Europe, please, someone in Europe, please answer that if you're going to be getting 
serves spark drag in place. Legal, I'm not fully sure if it's legal out there, which kind of sucks. It's a great card, but that's going to be probably the next coffee time or the coffee time after. Now, I know it's on a Wednesday, but still, we got to go over everything. So, Konami made them all rares, and now they're coming all shiny secret rares. Dragon Sack is still a thing, Big Eye is still a thing. Honestly, I don't see these guys going anywhere when it comes to Dragon Rulers. I said it before, and I'll say it time and time again. So all the Dragon Rulers are laid in the ground, buried up, and maybe there's just Tempest around. That's not me being biased, that's just me, you know, for Dragon Rulers, for whatever reason, just saying. Then, well, honestly, you can bury him too, but you get my point. Then they're still going to be around. But the question that we proposed today was... Who's got the better format? Is it us in the TCG or is it the hell no weird OCG? Honestly, to me it comes down to a preference. I prefer OCG for one reason. I can play more decks I like. Even though the formats both suck, I'm not gonna lie. And the reason they both suck, OCG's got it better in my eyes. The reason they both suck is because of Dragon Rulers. I'm sorry. I'm not a Dragon Ruler hater, I'm not a Dragon Ruler, you know, whiner. I'm just saying. We get tired of seeing the same thing top and top and top and top. Let's look at um, Injustice. God is among us, the game. I'm not even joking about this. I think it was the first tournament, everyone's like, oh, I don't even want to see Superman fighting because Superman's OP. It's kind of like Pokemon, we have the Uber tiers. It's that same system, but we have it as tier zero. And then tier one being everything under tier zero, which is the normal stuff. And in the history, we only had like two or three tier zeros. And it's actually kind of surprising <laughs> how broken some stuff is to actually reach that level. And most of the tier two, tier three is like Noble Knights and, well, most people consider Blue Eyes. I still consider Blue Eyes a top contender against Dragon Rulers, but it is a pain in the butt matchup for one reason. Because I'm not going to lie to you guys, they are faster. I mean, you know, it just, it comes down to the smart player, but it's pain in the butt anyway. So, let's recap here. I personally feel, maybe even not speaking for the whole council, that Japan has it better. Because you can play gadgets, you know, with the full force, you've got that pot of average, you got that shock master, it gives another contender. Black Wings can make shock master. It gives that, that more of a balanced matchup against Dragon Rulers. Now, don't forget Dragon Rulers probably, you know, in Japan, you're going to be a Japanese player you're gonna be smart. Three battlers, two breakthrough skills. It ain't going to hinder your speed. Screw over that shot from Astro left and right. Screw it over. It's, like, not that hard, honestly. But with you guys, in the comments, down below, which format do you prefer? Do you prefer the TCG or the OCG? You don't have to be a player of either one. It's just your preference. I'm not going to judge you and say, no, you're wrong. It's a matter of opinion. I still feel like both formats kind of suck, but TCG's got a little bit worse because of Sixth Sense and the lack of one of my favorite things in the world, Heavy Store. And the reason I say the lack of, I don't know, I don't, honestly, I don't think it would make the format any better. Boy, I just had to throw it out there that I just don't like it without Heavy Store. It doesn't feel like GVOs without a giant back row. Hey, that's just how it is. It's like one of those things you have to have in game. It's like taking a BR bow rifle out of Halo, or I don't know what Call of Duty normally uses. The, the, the knife that you stab people with. I don't play Call of Duty, sorry. <laughs> it's, like taking, it's like taking away the, um, the pickaxe from Minecraft. That would just be devastating. You see where I'm going with this, but whatever. That's my opinion. You guys have your own. Shut sign off in the comments. I want to hear it. I want to hear this discussion. And the next one will either be the next coffee time, which will be on Monday, I promise. I promise you. It will either be Starter Spark Dragon or it will be the What Your Konami Do to Fix the Balance. Because I haven't looked at the calendar. And now I'm looking at the calendar. It's the 28th, so it will be the Starter Spark Dragon because it's extremely close to that release date. So I just want to get that in there. So I'll see you guys next video, which will be out in about uh, a few hours or so. My name is Ray for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Council. If you like what you saw, make sure to subscribe for more. We post daily content, and that's all I'm doing to plug the channel. Peace.